cock rings? We are. Sorry. No. All right. Okay, so the, the head of the clitoris is located just under the hood, okay. the clitoral hood, and okay. you can stimulate the clit directly that way. Okay. The G spot mm -hmm. is the portion where the clitoris on the inside okay. straddles the vagina. Okay. Most of your clitoris is internal. It's about four inches across. Okay. So you have this great big organ in your body that literally its only job is to orgasm. That's crazy. So if you put your fingers inside a vagina, let's say this person is laying on their back, right. and you go in about inch and a half, two inches in, uh -huh. and you curve your fingers up like this, and you right. bang like that, mm -hmm. that actually is banging the G spot, which right. is banging the clitoris from the inside, because that's okay. where it straddles that vagina. Okay. So the purpose of this puppet, one is to teach you where the head of the clit is. Right. But two, to teach you where the G-spot is. Right. It feels kind of ridgy. Okay. So if you stick your finger just inside and you feel that. To, yeah. to, okay, all right, I'm gonna sit right there. Uh-huh. Okay, you that's feel how that? it should feel? Yeah, that's the G-spot. So when okay. you feel it on yourself, you'll uh -huh. feel that. Okay. Now I want you to be a penis, take two fingers and go down into the vagina. Okay. Did you feel the G-spot? No. No, it the feels angle like is totally nothing. wrong. Dang, that's crazy. So what's the best position? Not penetration. <laughs> Not, pen Not penetration. The vast majority of women will never orgasm through penetration. And this oh, is why. So okay, when we are fetuses, I'll swim around the womb. Okay. Everybody starts out with a clit. Right. And then about 50% of the population that elongates and becomes a penis. Okay. Head of the penis, most sensitive part of the body, uh -huh. has 4,000 nerve endings. That's why it feels good. Right. Head of the clit, most sensitive part of the body, 8,000 nerve endings, mm -hmm. twice as much in a much smaller package. Damn. Do this with your hand. Okay, so sex is the stimulation of genitals for pleasure. Right. Genitals are organs that orgasm. Right. Your vagina can't do that. Exactly. It literally does not orgasm. Now, some women think their vagina is orgasming right. because they feel their vagina doing this. Right. What they're actually feeling is the clitoris spasming and pushing down on that vaginal wall. Dang. Okay. So, so again, sex is the stimulation of genitals for pleasure. Right. Your genital is your clit. So if no one's stimulating your clit, you're not actually having sex. What? You're just letting someone jack off inside of you. That's what. That's crazy. That's so exactly what So the vast is. majority of women will not orgasm through penetration. Mm. They orgasm through the stimulation of their clitoris, either via the G spot mm -hmm. or the head, or it has legs that go underneath the labia minora, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can stimulate it via the labia minora. That's crazy. But here's the thing. I have a lot of women uh -huh. who come and meet with me because they're not orgasming mm -hmm. and of, the, of your body that feel good to the touch okay. but can't orgasm. Okay. So your lips, okay. your breasts, mm -hmm. that curve of your jaw right there, Ooh, okay. your inner thigh mm -hmm. right along here. Mm -hmm. um, those are good areas to, to do foreplay. We're gonna stimulate those erogenous zones. Okay. Okay. For about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. What that does is it releases oxytocin in your body mm -hmm. that preps the clit for sex. Okay. And then we wanna to go to the clit. We wanna make sure that we're spending at least 60 to 80% of the time that we're having sex on the clit. Dang, that's crazy. If you go on a heterosexual hookup, you have an 11% chance of orgasming. Dang. If you go on a lesbian hookup, you have a 93% chance of both women orgasming. That's crazy. The only difference is lack of penis. They're focusing Dang. exclusively on the clit, not on the penis. Dang. So Magnums are the racist kind of <laughs> So historically, <laughs> historically, black men have been hypersexualized in our culture. Yeah. It's been used as justification for slavery, lynching, all kinds of things. Oh, we got to protect those pure white women from those black men who can't control their sexuality, right? Mm -hmm. When in reality, it was white men that were raping black women. Black men didn't have access to white women, mm -hmm. right? But we equate virility with penis size. And so there's this myth in our culture that black men have bigger penises mm -hmm. because we're hypersexualizing them. Mm -hmm. But it's totally not true. But if you look at Magnum, all of their marketing is towards people who are African-American. Mm -hmm. Because they get more, 
They charge significantly more for the Magnum. They're super thick. They feel like having sex with a garbage bag. And they're not more effective. But black men, because they're insecure because of our culture, right. think that this is their only option. Right. When it's just racist bullshit. Damn. That's Asian real. men are stereotypes as having small penises. Yeah. Also not true. This started at the time of the Vietnam War. One of the, de the justifications that we used mm -hmm. for invading Vietnam was that their men were too effeminate. That they needed our manly culture to man them up. <laughs> right. And so we equate masculinity with penis size. So Asians are stereotyped as having small penises, which is mm. absolutely not true. That's crazy. Penis size does not follow race. That's crazy. Because I'm definitely <laughs> one of those people yeah. that is like, I believe that shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So 